All right, so this is your video on how to uh, get rid of these old laminate countertops. Incredibly easy process. Don't hire somebody to do it. Just get in here and do it yourself. We'll just do this whole kitchen. will take me 10 minutes. So disclaimer, first off, with the uh, laminate, most things, most old countertops, you should work from the top up. Now in the kitchen, you're most likely not going to do this. But in a bathroom, you will have around your corners, you're going to have, it's usually going to sit on top. Remove those parts first, your sides, and then do this. I'll show you what my bathroom looks like. Here's a bathroom which I'm taking out also. So, as you can tell, the sides sit on top of the countertop. So, if you're doing it in here, and just real quick, you know, I got this, mine's already coming up right here. So, I could probably just take my good old pry bar and wedge it underneath there and lift it up and out. If you don't have that luxury of it already coming up, then you can take an old blade, an old putty knife, butter knife, I don't care, and kind of hammer it in there to get a little space and then use your pry bar to rip it up. So do your sides and back if you have those before you do the actual uh, countertop. All right, so we did the sides and the back that sits on top of it if you already have that. If not, kitchen you're usually not going to. So, so it's a very simple process from here. You want to get the edges off first. That'll make it easier to get underneath this and lift the flat surface off. If you have cabinets you care about, then wrap it up in something protect the cabinets. So you want your pry bar and you're going to get up underneath here and pry it back. Either side works. I'll do the short side and I'll wrap it up just to be all fancy. And if you work from one end to the other, it's usually better. So it's just push down and let it go. Don't poke yourself with the nails. If you do, make sure you're up to date on the tetanus shots. So I'm going to hit this all the way around coming towards you. Okay, now that we got the, and we have it exposed to where we can actually see up underneath here, your next step will be what I typically do is I take my little flat knife, hammer it in here if I need to, just to kind of wedge it and give me enough room to get my pry bar underneath there. <clears throat> Again, wrap it, if, wrap it if you want to protect your surface, but with one hand, we're going to pull down on this so that we can pry this underneath here. So that we can pry our pry bar. So it's going to be a pull down and lift. So we got a pry bar in here. However you do it, you can hammer it in there. And that's just going to be a pull down. And again, from one side to the other. We'll start getting these nails up. If you ever get stuck while you're going along, you can always take a knife 
and cut where some of your cocks at holding it down. And that will help loosen it up also. Come around the sink here. some headway. Look at that big old jersey baby. So same process all the way around. Alright, all the way around. So haul off all your crap, get your new counters in here. Boom.